Hi there, and welcome back to Kitten School. As the mom to six very spoiled cats, I can tell you that when it comes to kitties, more definitely is better. But based on the many and sometimes panicked messages that I get from people who are attempting to add a new cat to their family, the process is not always easy. I want you to learn from my mistakes. So this video is gonna be all about the do's and don'ts of introducing a new cat or kitten into your house. First rule of new kitty club is don't introduce the cats cold turkey. Do prepare ahead of time. What do I mean by that? On the day that new kitty arrives, don't just put the cats together in the same room. Do let them sniff each other through a door. There's gonna be some hissing and maybe some swatting and scratching at the door, but this is their way of getting to know one another without being physically in the same place. Here's another trick to do before the cats actually meet. Get a blanket and let the new kitty sleep on it or rub it all over her body. And then take it to the resident cat and let him get his scent on it and then go back and forth for a few days between the two. By doing this, the cats will already recognize each other's scents so that when they do meet in person, it won't be quite as much of a shock. Okay, great job so far. You're almost ready for your cats to meet face to face, but there's one more thing you should do. Remember, the new kitty is not just meeting her new brother or sister, she's also experiencing a completely new environment. So you need to give her some time to explore the house without the resident kitty following her around and making her nervous. For this, the resident kitty needs to go in a closed room. I like to use a harness so that the new kitty won't get underneath furniture and hide because they're usually scared in a new environment. This way, new kitty can kind of suss out the place without having some scary cat tracking their every move. If new kitty is meeting multiple cats, don't put them all together at once. Start with the cat that you think will be the friendliest. First impressions are important, even with cats. For the first few introductions, I like to have the new cat on a harness so that I have complete control over the situation. Sit on the floor and hold the new cat in your lap. Allow the resident cat to approach. You're probably gonna have some hissing and growling. That's completely normal. But be prepared to immediately separate the cats if either one tries to attack the other. In the video, you can see that Orange Blossom on the left has her ears forward. That's a good sign. She's curious about the new kitten. She hisses a little bit, but overall her body language says that she's more interested in the kitten than angry or scared. After a few minutes, we give a treat to each of the cats. For cats, eating a meal together is kind of the equivalent of passing around a peace pipe. It shows that both animals are relaxed enough to eat in each other's presence. It's a very good sign. So do use treats and toys to help the kitties understand that they really do have a lot in common. At this point, don't get frustrated if things are still not going very smoothly. Do understand all cats are different. Some cats, it only takes a few visits and then they get along great. For others, it could take a few weeks. Just go slow, follow the steps, and try not to intervene too much unless someone's getting really bullied or hurt. And another big don't, never ever punish or yell at one of the cats if they're being aggressive towards the other. They just will not understand it and it's only gonna make things worse. If things get a little intense, do separate the cats and allow everyone to have a cool down session. Then try again. Out of all of the rules in New Kitty Club, I think the most important is you having patience and not getting yourself too stressed out about what is really normal cat behavior. People often ask me, my older cat is following the new cat all over the house. Is this normal? Yes, it is. Or they'll say, 
my sweet, sweet kitty who has never been mean to me her entire life is now growling and hissing and lashing out at me. Is that normal? In this situation, actually it is. But don't take it personally, it's not about you. Think about it from your cat's perspective. Say you came home from work or from school, you walk in the house and there's a stranger sitting on your sofa and that stranger says, hey, I'm your new roommate. You'd probably freak out, right? It's a huge shock for a kitty to have a new cat suddenly in their territory. I am here to tell you from experience, they can get along and even become very close friends. So if you think you're ready for it, get out there, get that new kitty for your family. Despite the occasional temper tantrum or sibling rivalry, after a while, everyone finds their place and life in a multi-cat household is really wonderful. Do you have a story about introducing a new cat into your home? If so, tell us about it in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to pounce on that subscribe button and join the Kitten School family. Kitten School is the place to be. Subscribe now!